Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about the document splitting in SAP FICO. So the document splitting is used for reporting purpose. So the splitting can be done based on the profit center, segment and business area. So the standard reports are specified by the IAS that is the International Accounting Standards. Uh, to meet those standards, the document splitting supports the users to have a specific reporting format that can be achieved using the document splitting functionality. See uh, where the exact uh, configuration starts. So we enter into the uh, SAP success menu. So here uh, there is a there is a financial accounting and a financial accounting new so this is the classical method and this is the uh, new functionality there is a new general ledger accounting so so there are many updates are available with the financial accounting new so when compared with the financial accounting so the one of the feature is document splitting so the document splitting uh, allows the user to have a, a clear report that is specified by the IAS uh, uh, that is according to the international accounting standards uh, we will have the reports uh, based on the segment level or based on the profit center level and also based on the uh, business area level so we can find the uh, document splitting configuration uh, in the financial accounting new uh, the central ledger accounting new uh, under uh, under business transaction you can you can find the document splitting so these are the steps that need to be carried out to configure the document splitting so what are the accounts we are creating so all those accounts need to be configured with the document splitting so it enables the users to post automatic adjustment entries within their legal entity so i have i have shown here so these are the types of uh, document splitting so it, it is active splitting, passive splitting, and uh, zero balance, uh, zero balancing uh, splitting. So here the active splitting is the one uh, which which is uh, which is predefined in uh, SAP. Uh, we cannot change those rules. Uh, so if the functionality provided by the SAP is uh, not sufficient, we can make uh, enhancement projects. Uh, to enhance the requirement uh, we need for the uh, splitting process with the active uh, in, in the active process so so the passive uh, passive splitting is the one in which uh, uh, the rules are derived from the active splitting uh, that is the active splitting will be applicable if we post a invoice for example if we if we post a invoice uh, the predefined uh, uh, rules will be specified in the uh, invoices will be uh, uh, inherited into the passive uh, passive type that is the payment if we make a payment uh, for clearing the open items that is uh, made in the invoice uh, the invoice will drag the informations uh, that are that are posted in the invoice so uh, the, the passive splitting will be completely based on the active uh, active splitting so similarly for a zero balancing account uh, there is a zero balancing uh, splitting so we know that uh, every transaction has a debit entry and a credit entry so the zero balancing will will be uh, will, uh, will be automatically triggered for every line items in a document that is if a credit line item is posted then simultaneously the the supporting uh, zero balancing entry for a debit a debit is also will be posted along with the uh, 
line item so there will be two balancing accounts uh, for every uh, document that we are posting so this is the zero balancing uh, splitting so so we, we will see this in our uh, customizing so i am entering into the classify gl accounts for document splitting so before that uh, i will just display what are the accounts we have uh, created move into fs00 we will first open my ledger so these ledgers we have configured in our last video so i have provided the link below kindly go through those videos so i want to enter these these accounts under splitting uh, rules so moving on to this so here when i execute the class pg accounts for document splitting it asks for my chart of accounts my chart of accounts is prp click on enter click on new entry so here i want to enter all these accounts all these accounts that is what are all the accounts i have created i have to enter these accounts here for example this is my first account with the balance sheet account so this will be my last account okay similarly for liability accounts equity and uh, expense accounts Zero 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 one to my last possible entry. Uh, that is the last possible. This is my last possible account that I that I can create in this uh, chart of accounts. So uh, I can I can classify all these accounts. This is my revenue account, and the last is my expense account. So this is the item category thing that I have mentioned here. Item category grouping. So this is the grouping of uh, accounts. So this this is a balance sheet accounts. So I want to group this account in uh, balance sheets. Okay, this is the balance sheet accounts. Similarly, the same thing applies for uh, this thing also. And this is the revenue account. So I click on revenue. And this is the expense account. So, is there any equity account? Let's see. No. Okay, I will use this. Thing. No problem. Okay, click on save. Okay, this is the first step. I will classify all my accounts. So, these accounts will come under. Document splitting. Click on back. So classify document types for document splitting. So this is this is also important step. So these are the document types. So all these document types should have a transaction, transaction and its and its variant. So, for example, uh, CG is a cash journal, and this triple zero is unspecified posting. So, we need to specify the uh, document type. Also, should come to under a document splitting. So, we ensure that uh, what are all the document types we are we will use use in our uh, uh, configuration. We need to. Uh, enter the transaction and uh, its, its corresponding variant here so that uh, 
the Rakma type also will come under uh, attachment splitting. So we will use all these uh, all these Rakma types specifically uh, KR, KZ vendor payment and vendor invoices. So this thing is very important. So similarly, I will move on with the zero balance clearing account. So I I have mentioned here that that uh, there is a zero balancing account. I need to specify. Uh, I need to create a zero balancing account. Okay, here I will I will show it. And executing the zero balancing clearing account, I will enter. I will enter with the screen. So click on it. Double click on accounts. It asks for our chart of accounts. Okay, I have to create a new account and uh, for, for the zero balancing account and enter that account here. So I'm entering to the uh, FS00. Going to create a new new account. There is a zero balancing account in liability. So click on create. So this is the second number, two zero zero three. It's available uh, available number in liability. So this comes under liability. It's a balance sheet account. on control data <coughs> click on line item sort key so the field status group let it be uh, general okay click on save okay So my new account has been created. Now I have to link this thing here. Two zero 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 three. Click on enter. So I have saved the entry. So this uh, this account will be defaultly uh, triggered during all the transactions. So I can specify. Uh, sorry, not here. Specify here itself. For example, two. That is, these two accounts are uh, balance sheet accounts. So I want to specify uh, it, this. Uh, um, zero balancing account uh, separate thing so that's why I'm doing like this so the category for the zero balancing account is this thing, zero balance posting uh, so the next account that is from 2000 2004 to the last possible account will again go with balance sheet accounts click on save so likewise so i'm specifying my uh, zero balancing account like this similarly for uh, for particular uh, uh, particular requirement we can change the uh, change the accounts for example for customer accounts i can use this thing uh, for vendor accounts i can use this thing uh, if, if i if i configure for special jail transactions i can give that account here so likewise i can uh, i can change the ch change the possibilities so these things are these categories these item categories are uh, defaultly provided by the sap we can use these things itself no need to configure a new thing so likewise so i will save the entry i have configured the zero balance clearing account then i am moving to the uh, document splitting characteristics for general ledger accounting so here so I, as I said 
as i said previously uh, that the splitting can be uh, made with the business area uh, this profit center and the segment so based on this my reports can be generated so i'm i'm tick i made a tick here so that the zero balance uh, will also apply in this in this three fields so this is the field name for business area profit center and uh, segment uh, respectively so i i specified the mandatory fields for business area and profit center i am leaving behind the segment here so um, uh, let let the configuration as be as it is so i don't want this things so click on uh, activate document splitting so here the document splitting uh, okay here the method is splitting customer vendor attacks so the method i'm going to use use in the splitting is uh, splitting customer or tax so if i want to change this thing uh, as as like this splitting so this is the default thing but i'm having this thing here so i want to change this thing so uh, i removed the constant here and also the uh, thing okay click on now document splitting the method has been changed so click on enter so it defines for the constant okay uh, i previously defined a constant here okay i, I don't want this thing okay uh, i don't want the constant i have deleted the constant so i just i make a made a tick and inheritance that is uh, i have to tick here so that the uh, this thing uh, so uh, any settings that uh, any rule that is followed in the active splitting will be inherited for the passive splitting so that's why i have ticked here for inheritance so i am going to use the splitting method the method 00012 that is splitting same as uh, okay 002 follow up cost online okay okay i'm okay. saving the entry then uh, click on uh, deactivation per company code here uh, i want to select my company code so if i uh, made a tick here uh, i choose this company code will not have a, a document splitting so i, I do not uh, tick here i will uh, untick this check box and see this okay getting back so i have a so this this thing defined document splitting characteristics for accounting no uh, this is not essential okay so these are the essential steps to be carried out for the document splitting so thank you guys for watching this video we'll carry in the next video thank you